Okay, so this is going to be a lesson on Painted Black by the Rolling Stones. Let's talk about the beginning riff with the little fill. They just started out with the E minor chord, and then they get into a riff. This isn't exactly how Keith Richards plays it, I don't believe, but this is how I've been playing it for years and years, and I think it's an easy and effective way. There's probably a tricky or some kind of mysterious, magical way that he did it that makes it sound like super cool, but, but this is a cool way to do it, and it's pretty easy. So you got the E minor chord. We can start out with like a part of the chord or some, some low end, but then we're going to go... So really easy is just open, open, two, open, three, open, five, open, three, open, two, open, open, open. So sometimes I'll go like this, I'll mute the A string, but I'll put that note on that E right there so I can get part of that lower kind of E chord, but still have a finger ready to start doing that riff. That's how I like to kind of do it. Okay, so that was the whole first part. Now we got to come over here and get this. So we got five, four, 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 so you're barring to the seven. And you can either hit that note by itself, I kind of hit a little chord there on that one, so. So that was a double hammer on, two, four, five, two, and then a double pull off, five, four, two. And then a little half step up and down with a little vibrato. Hit that E minor again. Okay, so let's do that one more time on that one. Okay, so that's that whole riff that goes like twice and it sets you up for the chords in the singing part. So he sings over that first part to get the verse going, then they have these changes. So you're gonna have E minor twice, D twice, G twice, D twice, and then E minor. That's how we did it in a band that I was in, Whitewater Ramble. So it's not exactly like the record either. That's where you can, as a band, you can kind of make things a little different, put your own little spin on a riff or something. Or you could try to get, listen to the record a lot, try to get that riff exactly how they do it. So once again, E minor D, G to D, and then E minor with a little riff on it. This time you're going A twice as long to B7. So let's try that again. So it's E minor D, G to D, E minor, a couple times, and then a little riff. Da 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 da. And then E minor D, G to D. Then this time A twice as long as those were to the B7. 2, 1, 2, oh, 2. If you haven't done that one in a minute. So let's try to play those chords on that part right there. Two, three, and one, two, three, four, one. And then you go back to the riff for the next verse. Okay, so the other thing that happens on this is we have a chord progression later on, E minor to B7. Now here's where we can use the harmonic minor scale. So let's talk about that. So we have the E harmonic minor scale, so a normal minor scale for E. Have those notes E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, E. But we're going to have a D sharp instead of a D. 
that's part of that B7 chord. So that note is especially important when we're on the B7 chord. It's not going to sound as good against that E minor, but it sounds real good on the B7. So sometimes you might avoid it a little bit so you can drop it over that B7. So. So let's talk a little bit about that E harmonic minor scale. This is what you're going to play over the E minor to B7, or your E minor to B7, wherever you want to do it down there. But let's look at the scale here. It's going to start in the 7th fret of the A string. 7, 9, 10 starts out like a minor scale, but where you would go like this, we have a, we have a major 7 there, a sharp 7. Take a look at that, 7, 9, 10 on the A, 7, 9, 10 on the D, 8, and 9. Then we can add one note down here, let's add that 6 and come back. So I'm going to play some chords, how about you guys just try to play just these notes in any order you want, just realize this one thing, that 8 right there, that's the one that you want to wait for the second chord if you can because that's going to be in that chord and it's going to be different to the sound of the other chord. Uh, let's, I'm going to play these chords, E minor 7 or E minor 7 or E minor to B7 and then you can just play this scale, maybe you got that one down here, but this is your E. So maybe start out on that one. You know, do some stuff around until you hear that B7. Start using that D sharp note when the B7 chord comes in because that will really accentuate that chord and that's a chord tone at that time they call that you know and it's an exceptional chord tone for this progression uh, because it's not related to the first chord really in any way so let's try that two three and eh. here goes the b7 now you might lay off of that d sharp note now play it a little bit in this one add some notes to that now so we have let's also go up here so we have 7 8 10 and then 7 8 11 and 12 and that 11 is the octave of that other one so that's the special note playing off of that over that B7 sounds real extra cool okay so let's look at those notes again 7 9 10 7 9 10 8 9 7, 8, 10, 7, 8, 11, 12. Let's walk that down. 12 and 11, that's our special note for the B7. 8, 7, 10, 8, 7, 10, 8, 10, 9, 7, 10, 9, 7, 6. Now let's add a couple more just for fun. We got the 8 and the 7 up here. And that's the B note right there, so that'd be a cool one. You get on that B7 chord, but if you want to come back up to the root, remember that's our E. That's the E that goes with that E minor chord. So let's try that some more. You got your extra notes. So we got two, three, and.
So you see how I'm doing that kind of thing? Like this note here is a B note too. So that's part of like the B major chord, which is part of this B7 thing that's happening. So if, when I end up like a, each one of those is part of that B chord. So, and they all have a note right next to them. If you're on the E minor, like say here was some notes from E minor. So I was going like eight, seven, nine, kind of like filibustering there to wait to like drop that dude. And when I went to that one, that, that one sounded cool because it's still part of that B chord. So these are things that are all really fun to check out when you're trying to use this um, mode of harmonic minor. So that would be like an E note. Let's see, that's that special note for the B7. So you can get into, I had a little riff that I would do sometimes like. You know, you get a bunch of effects and stuff going, that can sound pretty cool. So anyway, um, let's look at maybe another spot. Here's the open position. O two three O two three one two four O two O one four O two three. That's kind of a crazy one. So just remember it's um the only sharps are F sharp and D sharp. So we got E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, and then we got the D sharp to E. And then E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D sharp, E, F sharp, G. So So how about trying that one? Two, three, eh. Alright, so I was in a bluegrass band and we did this and they would play stuff really super fast, so it'd be like... Almost becomes like a Hava Nagila kind of thing. So anyway, um, I'll give you a little shot to the little solo one down here. Give you some ideas. See, that's some notes there in the B7, so if you finish out on one of those off a little riff. Those are the main notes of the E minor, you know, play a normal E minor, two, two, four, five right there. And here's part of a B chord there, you get the B7.
All right, hope you dug that. Painted Black Rolling Stones, one of the classics of all time. Uh, amazing chances to have fun with that progression, the E minor to B7 and in the harmonic minor mode. So enjoy yourselves with that. Please like and subscribe. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot.